Hey guys, I am going to show you how to modify a solid state relay for your own uh, to your own specs and show how to open it up. Yeah, these are pretty solid. The what you pay for them. Uh, this one here is rated from five to sixty volts and three to 32 volts input at 25 amp. Really, it's 30. The um, fit inside is rated for 30, so they're just being uh, cautious with 25 amp. Uh, to get these open, you can pry the front off of it, and then you'll end up with something like this here. Once you get the front off. You pry it in the corner and pull up. There you go. Okay. It'll take a little bit more force to get it out. Uh, to get it open, you're going to have to... Um, there'll be a little screw here. Uh, and most of the potting, you'll see where the screw is because it'll it'll be like a cross or it'll be round. And what you're going to do is use a fine screwdriver and another screwdriver. You can tap it all around the screw until you get enough dug out where you're actually exposed to the screw then you're going to uh, tap out the inside of the screw just so you have enough threads to uh, get a hold of it you don't want to slip and strip it and then once you turn that out you're not done yet because you got still got a lot of potting and stuff in there that's that's uh, gonna keep you from getting anywhere um, what you're going to do, like what I tried with this one, is I tried taking a fine screwdriver and tapping it all along there. As you can see, it just dented it, didn't really uh, get it open. But what you can do is take a screwdriver, hold the, the base of it like that, and put it like that, and then tap it with a hammer on both ends. And what will happen is the back will pop off. And what you'll have is um, some epoxy holding that on, like rubber, rubber epoxy. And when you open it up, you're going to have your FET in the middle right like that. And then you're going to have all this potting that uh, will be all around here. And what you just take needle nose pliers and just snap it off all the way around the uh, FET. It's not sticking to the board because they poured it in from the other side and it just dripped through and settled on the base. But if you tap the base off like I showed you, this will stick to the FET. And then you just snap it all off and you're there. Um, I'll show you the specs on this uh, FET here and the one I'm putting in it. Okay, this is the original FET. Um, it's ready for 200 volts at 30 amp, so that's why they said 25 amp, just to be on the safe side. The one I'm putting in is uh, 260N at 200 volts at 50 amp. Uh, it should be more than enough for me. Um, plus, I'm going to mount it a little bit differently. But uh, yeah, I forgot I'd just quickly show you that. Getting them open isn't that hard if you're if you're careful. That should be no problem. Let's see D. Yeah, pinout's pretty much the same. We're good to go. So that's about it, guys. So like I said, pry the front off. Chisel out the screw. Don't forget the screw part. If you try to take the back off without doing this, you're gonna rip the board off and you're going to tear this right off the board and probably damage the traces. Chisel that out, turn it out, then you can pop the back off by tapping it on each end. And then you'll end up getting it, desolder it, and you're good to go. So, I'm just going to basically cut the tra or cut the, the uh, leads exactly the same as the other one and then solder it in. You're good to go. Later guys.